Hey guys, Flo here with another episode of Napoli Career Mode series and we will jump straight into the first match. No need for my chit chat, Liverpool vs Napoli. And we're off with this second leg of this Europa League round. 4-1 for Liverpool in the first leg. They dominated most of the game. They start well in this one as well. They play at Anfield. They know they are 90% qualified for the next round, so they are pretty relaxed in that regard. But what a cracking goal from Sahin. Liverpool fans should be pleased. Some outstanding screamers we saw in this second leg tie, and it's already 1-0. Napoli have to do something. Liverpool are already in front, and they did right after that. Mussinia passes the ball to the center. Will cross the ball in the box. And a fantastic header from Vargas. Beautiful header and it's leveled again. Liverpool were not intimidated by that one. A great build up play Suarez one on one with the goalkeeper but a poor shot. You can say whatever you want about him but he is a first class striker. Moving on to the next chance Liverpool again this build up play shows why they were on top of Napoli for most of the time. SID will miss it but what a great team. But Napoli aren't a small team by any chance, they penetrate Liverpool's defense once again and the only thing standing in front of them scoring was Cavani's composure, great chance. Second half starts with Liverpool in front, a great pass from Downing but Gerrard with a rather poor shot goes wide. Napoli were starting to get confident, another chance for them again in senior there getting past the defender but it was denied by Reina. Another huge chance for Napoli, good passing but again Cavani unexplicable, the number one Napoli man misses another one but in the 78th minute the worst of news for the Napoli manager. Amore Bieta picks up an injury in that aerial battle, one of the main defenders, he is gonna miss the rest of the season. Tashi will replace him but what a loss. Napoli feel the shock Liverpool on a counter attack, Suarez gets the ball for Sterling and what a perfect pass. Costello undecided if he should go after it, he stays in goal but it's too late, goal for Liverpool. Napoli all over the place after that, ball played in front for Sterling but a great sliding tackle from Costello, dangerous but perfect. It will finish 2-1. There was never any doubt, Liverpool go through, Napoli to concentrate more in the championship. Not as upset to be honest, I mean I already knew that we could not qualify as soon as they scored the first goal, even though we lost the game, felt good. And now that we're out of the Europe League, we can concentrate more on obtaining that third spot in the Serie A. We are here with the Italians, we have Napoli vs Genoa. Napoli came after being knocked out from the Europa League by Liverpool. That should mean they can focus more on the championship, but they were not at their best form. It was not the most entertaining match, chances few and far between. Genoa with a chance, but Costa making his presence felt. The goalkeeper was a great signing back in January. Second half started with a big chance in the first moments of the game. Again Genoa and again Immobile with a beautiful header. Napoli on their knees, the biggest chance of the game came in the 83rd minute, Immobile is found with a great lob pass, but still charges, but Bertolacci misses that, it should have been a win for Genoa, Napoli should be thankful of that result. There was a time when I would have said that we needed to snatch the 3 points, we did, but this match, this match I like to see as a transition to better results, we lost a couple of matches. So a draw should at least mean a better result, but we need at least a better performance against AC Milan in our next Serie A game. This is the match everybody wants to watch, it's AC Milan vs Napoli. You can argue the fact that Milan is favorite knowing Napoli's recent form, but in these matches form is not the most important thing. Milan were in third spot and six points behind Napoli, so this were so this was the last chance for Napoli to catch up. Napoli manager said time and time again that first spot is crucial for the next season. 
but they know it will be tough and Milan showing what they're made of a great toss and a rather bad challenge for the Milan striker but the referee says keep playing Behrami with the ball tries to find that good pass finds Hamshing and he just buries it in the goal 1-0 for Napoli it's on now a lot of time has passed since we saw that from the Slovakian but it happened at a great time Second half started with Milan in front, they wanted the equalizer pretty fast and they came close to scoring after a Nocerino header. Lucas Piazon to make the pitch after a small injury picked up by Zuniga. Cavani tries the goal from a big distance, it wasn't that far off, you know he can surprise you. And he doesn't just score goals, he puts Maggio here through on goal, he charges forward, changes the ball to his left leg but it's saved and cleared. Behrami picks the ball and he sees Lucas Piazon running a great volley from the youngster but it's just at the keeper. But it's not over there, ball well, at Cavani's feet, he decides to do a roulette. He finds yet again Lucas Piazon and he scores probably his most important goal of his career at the moment. It's Napoli to Milan nil at San Siro. It looked like a poor shot but it slowly went into the net. Napoli feeling confident some time passed since they played like this. Cavani gets the ball in a great shot and a never greater save by Abiati. Yet again Napoli in front, game was over so Insigne decides to try a one of his own and again saved by Abiati and Hamšík with way too much power on that one. It finished Milan nil, Napoli 2 and the battle for the first spot is on. Back on track, the team felt great, I really played well, was relaxed all the way through and we won. We finally won, now to keep it up, we'll see how I do in the next episode, now let's enter this press room conference. Just before I start with the questions, I want to say that I would like people to interact with this part of the episode as well. There are a few people who ask questions pretty often and, and that's fine. But I would like to see new people throwing questions at me. And with that being said, first question comes from Quagmire904. What do you think of starting a pro career mode? The real question is, would you like it? I mean, it's not that hard for me. I could use my face on the player and anything, but you guys need to ask for this in order for me to, to know I should be doing it. Second question comes from my German friend Nicholas Denholf, Adidas or Nike. I'm not sure. Uh, if we are talking about football gear, both are pretty good. Outside football, I'm an Adidas guy, I think. And more specific, I like the original side of, of Adidas. Other than that, both are great. I have both gear from Adidas and Nike. I mostly have Adidas clothing, but I also have Nike books, for example. But hey, it, it all comes down to preference. Another question from the soccer fan 4415. What do you think about Barca and Milan 4 2 on aggregate? Well, they did deserve it, I can tell you that. Milan were all over the place, to be honest. I cheered for Milan in this one, but Barca deserved it. I, I don't know, Barca is so good that the moment it's annoying and. I really hope football will balance itself at the top at the moment because there's Barca and after that the other teams, at least that's how I see it. Last question comes from James Romuno, <laughs> that would translate as James the Romanian. Anyway in Florin, if you were to buy a player, a Romanian player, and add him to your squad, who would it be? Uh, there are. There are not as many as I would like in the game because of the Romanian league being absent from the game. But if I had to buy one from the current roster, I would say Radu Stefan from Lazio Roma. I bought him in another career mode back when the game came out and he got to a respectable 82 pretty soon, so yeah. Anyway, these were the questions for this episode. Ask yours for the next episode. Like if you enjoyed it doesn't hurt but it does help me subscribe for more and I'm see you next time